but in general, the two numbers you care about the most are going to be the total testosterone, which is like total production reflection. So um, I'd love to kind of dive into an area that I know you have a lot of knowledge, you know, just based off of your your company, Merrick Health, where you guys are really helping people optimize their hormone levels. And so I kind of want to talk a little bit about some of the best practices for measuring testosterone, interpreting the results. Um, could you kind of outline some of the optimal best practices for actually measuring testosterone levels? So, you know, optimal timing, repeated measures, like free testosterone versus um, bound testosterone or total testosterone, right? Like what's the difference here? What what do people, what should they like consider? Mm -hmm. So total testosterone is the number that most people are familiar with, which reflects the total production that can be detected in your sample of blood that was taken. So floating around how much testosterone is there, inclusive of the testosterone bound to binding proteins. So just because it's in your blood, though, it doesn't mean it's biologically active. If it's bound to these binding proteins produced by the liver, it could be either uh, entirely inactive or like readily available to be dissociated, but not yet fully active as well. So you have, you know, SHBG is the primary one, sex hormone binding globulin produced by the liver. This acts as a regulator of androgenicity in the body, which is like how much androgen exposure systemically you would be exposed to. And the body has this kind of regulating mechanism to partly to make sure that, you know, females stay feminine, males stay male and regulate which tissues get which hormones when and transport it around the body because these are um hydro uh phobic like they're fat soluble and would not go through uh the blood to where you want them without some sort of carrier so they have a um hydrophilic vehicle similar to like how cholesterol will get moved around through its you know apoB particles and whatnot um and these binding proteins SHBG and albumin comprise the vast majority of testosterone. Um, I think SHBG is about 60% of your total T will be bound by SHBG. And then like 38% is albumin. And then 2% to 3% roughly, depending on how much SHBG you produce and some other factors is actually free testosterone. 